Dear delegates of uh, Libre 2023, myself Parthu Sarathi Mukhopadhyay. I am a teacher in Library and Information Science uh, in University of Kollani, India. So today my uh, point of deliberation uh, discusses the possibilities of application uh, of machine learning in automated subject indexing system. Uh, it will be divided into two parts. In the first part, I am going to discuss the uh, theoretical backup that is uh, methodology, framework, evaluation techniques and it will be followed by live demonstration process. So let us start. So this deliberation deals with a, a single point focus, can machine learn how to perform subject indexing? And it is, uh, you know, it has got two follow up uh, research questions. How to measure efficacy or efficiency of an automated subject indexing system? And can we implement such a system in large scale? We all know subject indexing is a very hard problem. First of all, subjectivity. Uh, when two librarians index same documents uh, by using same vocabulary devices, then also only one third of the subject descriptors are matching. There are huge number of concepts in a generic uh, knowledge organization system like library of congress subject heading list presently it contains more than 5 lakhs of descriptors and uh, con concepts are added every time uh, changes every time uh, terms are also changing their scopes are redefined so these are the problem related from the point of view of indexers machine has also got uh, two difficult problems uh, in automated indexing one is the long tail phenomenon it is very difficult to create an event training data set covering all descriptors uh, given in a uh, vocabulary device or system like LCSH. And it is very difficult to evaluate or hard to tell that um, whether machine indexing is accurate or not, what kind of retrieval metrics will be applicable uh, that we need to uh, go for. Now uh, this is a difficult problem but not an impossible one. So, ANIF uh, a framework we are using that is an open source uh, machine learning framework developed by the National Library of Finland. It is running on the top of Python virtual environment, Python 3.8 uh, you require, you need and it is supported by a lot of machine learning backends along with the uh, uh, different kind of analyzers like Snowball or Simplema. These analyzers are basically responsible for the activities of uh, stemming, lemmatization, etc. related with a uh, lot of uh, NLP uh, techniques. And uh, after installation of this framework, we loaded their library of congress subject heading list. Uh, there are a lot of RTF serializing format available. We have deployed the turtle format. We downloaded lot of mark records as training data set and the entire training data set again divided into three groups. The major part goes for the training, one part around 1% around of the entire data set is for validation. Validation is required to know the different kind of hyperparameters of a given machine learning backend and one particular uh, data set we kept uh, for testing. And uh, we explored uh, uh, different machine learning backends supported with ANIF and found that neural network ensemble and OMIKUSI uh, as a regular backend algorithm are working better than the other uh, machine learning uh, backends. And uh, to measure efficacy or accuracy, we have utilized F1 at 5 and NDCG as retrieval metrics. F1 at 5 is an order unaware matrix. It is a harmonic mean of precision and recall at the top 5 results and NDCG normalized discounted cumulative gain is an order aware matrix which is uh, actually uh, determining uh, different kind of you know uh, accuracy level of a given machine learning backend. And finally, we have explored the REST API interface uh, for large scale implementation. So this is the methodology that we have followed. Uh, LCSH we have uh, actually uh, fused inside the ANIF framework. Then the mark record uh, we have downloaded around 600k uh, records we curated and finally uh, prepared the training data set. And inside ANIF there are a lot of NLP tools, uh, default NLP tools are there. In the backend algorithm we have uh, actually explored as I said uh, many backend algorithm and found that uh, fusion backend algorithm is better than the regular backend algorithm and analyzer we have utilized simplema for different kind of stemming, lemmatization and so on. So after the training part, uh, part is uh, over, then we can access ANIF from command line through web user interface 
and uh, through rest endpoint for large scale implementation. So, these are the machine learning backend available inside uh, ANIC. So, it can be divided into two groups regular backend and fusion backend. So, uh, there are uh, few, uh, regular backend uh, make uh, may content uh, two types of uh, backend algorithm one is the lexical approach, another is the associative approach. But uh, this uh, neural network ensemble, it is a trainable backend ensemble uh, backend in ANIF, which we can uh, you know train successively online. That means repeated training is possible. Then uh, the reason for ensemble uh, use of ensemble backend algorithm is that uh, it combines different uh, backend algorithm, lexical, associative, and so on, uh, so that individual uh, backend algorithm can retain their, their strength and weakness if any can be reduced uh, by uh, other backend algorithm deployed. So, neural network ensemble we are uh, we have utilized and this is the structure of the training data set. It contains the title this is called a short text corpus title and the summary of the book and these are represented by uh, you know different uh, term URI. Because here uh, in machine learning, we have to use the URI of the descriptor, not the descriptor itself, because URI is permanently representing a particular concept. And uh, this is one of the uh, data set uh, you can see here that uh, one particular data set contains 130k records, how it looks like. And finally, when training is over, then we can throw the uh, particular uh, text corpus like here title and abstract of a book to ANIF. Here we have utilized uh, TF IDF backend algorithm based on LCSEs and it can give me suggestions related to subject descriptor with their accuracy scores. And uh, after comparison of different backend algorithm because that is the this is the most difficult and crucial decision when in case of any machine learning framework. So, we have we have attempted TF IDF, Omikuzi, both bonsai and parabel and found that uh, uh, NN ensemble which is basically a fusion backend which combines Omikuzi, Bonsai, Parabel and TFIDF actually scores equally well after training with only 60,000 records whereas this kind of scores we have achieved uh, after training uh, after utilizing the entire training data sets of around 600k uh, records. And you can see that uh, NN ensemble uh, can learn uh, successively and uh, F1 at 5 and NDCG both can be improved. So, this is the result after the third cycle of training that is altogether after uh, you know training uh, this particular machine learning backend with 180k uh, records uh, and uh, we have achieved almost uh, 0.70 F1 at 5 and 0.80. Uh, for NDCG. So, F1 at 5 is a uh, order unaware matrix as I said it is a, a snapshot or harmonic mean of recall and precision whereas, NDCG is a uh, order aware matrix. So, let us go for the uh, you know <coughs> live demonstration process. Okay, uh, let us explore uh, ANIF. So, I am now starting ANIF in virtual environment. So, this is the command to activate ANIF. Now, ANIF started and uh, as we said uh, that uh, this particular project has ex explored many backends, but we found that the ensemble uh, backend uh, on the basis of neural network is working fine. It can uh, learn successively uh, through different uh, training data sets and that is the beauty of uh, the uh, this uh, neural network ensemble backend. So, let us try uh, to throw an if an unknown text and let us see how it uh, reacts. So, I am just copying a short corpus data which includes the title of the book. You can see here uh, the title of the book is this and the summary of the book. And then uh, that this particular uh, text corpus, I am asking Anip to suggest a, a few descriptor uh, with the backend uh, NN ensemble, neural network ensemble, and it is preloaded with LCSH. So let's try. And the moment I uh, press enter, enter button, uh, the enter uh, backend is loading. 
and on the basis of this particular text it is trying to uh, give me a set of uh, subject descriptors on the basis of the training data set. And here you can see uh, these are the uh, descriptors given on the basis of LCSH and these are the URI of that particular pref, uh, pref, le, preferred level from LCSH. And in the right hand side you can see the uh, score, uh, so this is called the accuracy score depending on the uh, depending on the nature of the back end algorithm it will give uh, us uh, the score and it will rank the descriptor according to this accuracy score and it always varies from 0 to 1. Um, 1 is the perfect and uh, the higher is the score better is the match. So, this is one of the uh, testing environment for ANIF uh, the command line interface and uh, ANIF also provides two other access points uh, one is the a microservice, uh, web page based microservice, another is the uh, REST API interaction. So, let us now try with the uh, uh, web interface. So, the command is this one, anif run. So, it will start uh, this particular uh, uh, WSGI server microservice and I can open it up. So, it will, it will open uh, uh, an interface where from where I can select uh, the projects. So, we are now interested in uh, NN ensemble based on LCSH. So, I am selecting this particular project. Now, again I am uh, trying to give ANIF a different text corpus from here. So, this particular uh, book deals with the uh, different you know uh, plant and animal breeding and so on. So, let us uh, try this. So, I am copying this corpus here. So, this particular uh, text is the title of the document and this is the summary of the book. Now, the moment I select this uh, project, the target project, uh, where uh, here it is LCSH based uh, neural network ensemble and I can opt for the suggestions. Now, it is actually trying to give me the suggestions on the basis of this particular uh, supplied uh, text corpus. And again, it will also be you know ranked by uh, uh, this accuracy score. So, according to ANIF, so plant biotechnology, plant genetics, agriculture, these are the descriptor from Library of Congress subject heading for this text corpus. <coughs> now, in real life situation, we cannot go by this uh, one by one testing and for that uh, ANIF has go, got uh, REST API interaction uh, through which I can throw uh, uh, a text uh, programmatically and it can give me suggestions. So, let us explore that one. Okay, so, this is the uh, REST API based uh, interaction and I will be explaining this particular command. Uh, let me use this one. Okay. So, here uh, the command what I am trying to uh, throw uh, to ANIF is that I will, I will use the curl utility and will throw ANIF this particular command. And here I am asking Anip that you give me at the best 5 descriptor and threshold value is 0 0.4 that means accuracy score must be uh, uh, you know within uh, either higher than 0 0.4 or equal to 0 0.4. And this is the REST API based uh, you know uh, end URL REST end, API, end point uh, for Anip. So, let us now again press enter command and immediately it can give me data in JSON format because uh, here we have uh, declared that I need uh, data in JSON format. Okay. So, uh, uh, we can utilize this particular uh, facility of ANIF, uh, this particular facility of ANIF uh, for uh, a large scale study. Uh, let us uh, try that one. So, I am now opening a particular uh, text corpus let us say 253 number of book data is here and this is already we have the text corpus uh, title and the abstract of the book and human indexed descriptor uh, from on the basis of LCSH. So, let us uh, you know uh, let us explore that whether ANIP can do it in a large scale can I throw all these 250 plus documents uh, corpus to ANIP and get the suggestion in JSON format because as it is supporting REST API. So, let us try. So, I am using 
open define here as a data wrangling software it's it is also an open source software and i am adding a column and i am targeting this particular you know uh, python jython script so let me give a name for this column anif so what i am doing here i am just utilizing that rest end, uh, end point of anif the same project lcsh nn ensemble i am asking suggestion on the basis of this particular column called corpus so the moment i click okay it will be start working and you see how speedily it is working actually uh, we calculated that anip can index uh, you know uh, 10 records per second and we have actually thrown 250 records uh, 253 uh, to be exact and you see how speedily it is indexing and doing the things and the moment it will uh, you know it will be completed the entire json formatted data i will be having and then we can extract uh, descriptor from that json data chunk so it's almost uh, over i think it will take less than half a minute uh, to index all 250 plus documents okay so it is done now if i am going back here you see that a new column created and with all kind of you know uh, uh, suggestions taken from anip on the basis of the given text corpus so now the question comes how to extract the descriptor from here like label so it's a very simple task it is a json data i can add a column on the basis of this column and i can extract this uh, json value and let us give this name as machine now you see uh, the uh, this is the human and this is the ma machine so human index this particular uh, document in this way and machine actually suggested this so let us check how many of this uh, you know um, uh, descriptor by machine uh, is exactly matching uh, with human index documents so let us add another column and i have a grail for this grail is the uh, uh, particularly extracting format previously it was called google uh, you know uh, refine so now it is called uh, general refine expression language or grail so now i can reuse this i can give a column name say match and check the preview whether it is coming or not so now it gives me that how many you know uh, descriptors are matching between uh, human and machine so you see here uh, machine is pretty close and we can always go for uh, text faceting and here you see uh, average uh, you know uh, at least 3 matching for 48 uh, 5, 5 or 6 matching for the maximum number of document 4 5 and 6 are basically matching so it is quite close to you know uh, human indexing process and uh, the success depends on the training uh, the um, more the merrier more you are uh, uh, you know uh, able to train this particular framework it will give you more correct result and it is also you know quite uh, ready for the large scale implementation so thank you very much that's all from my site